Welcome to Cleveland Real Estate Investor. On this podcast, you will hear about every aspect of the real estate investment business. We will talk to rock star investors about their businesses, how they built them, where they came from, and where they are going. Who am I? I'm Joe Lieber, and I've made millions of dollars in the real estate investment business over the last 20 years. If you're ready to hear the good and bad from a guy who's learned this business from the school of hard knocks and get educated by some badass entrepreneurs, then put your helmet on, strap on your chin strap, and let's ride. Cleveland real estate. Best ever take the food off your dinner plate. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're going to regulate. Come on. Whatever you do, we're going to get it straight. Hey. Straight. Cleveland real estate. Yeah. Ever take the food off your dinner plate. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're going to regulate. You know. Whatever you do, we're going to get it Come straight. On. Yo, what's going on, guys? Gals, thank you for tuning in today. Appreciate all you coming here. Happy New Year. We are off to another year of excellence, right? We're all going to do it this year. We're going to lose weight. We're going to make Monday. We're going to spend more time with our families. We're going to go on vacation. We're going to do it. That's what they say. New Year's excitement. I'm excited. I'm going to have a great year this year. Fully plan on it. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to do deals. I know I'm going to do deals. I'm going to make money. I'm going to make a difference. So listen, I got an episode for you today. It's uh, by request. I'm calling it scratching. Scratching for deals. Looking for deals. When you have no money. What do you do if you're trying to find deals, but you have no money? That is the situation a person called me up is in. Yeah, I talk about a lot of great ways to get deals. Direct mail, uh, Facebook, Google AdWords. The issue is it's expensive. It's really expensive. You got to convert for it to make sense. And especially if you're a little newer to the business, you're not doing many deals, you're not going to want to go blow five grand a month, 10 grand a month or more on marketing. So I'm going to talk to you today about ways to get deals without using a whole lot of money. All right. In one of the episodes, we talked about my old man going around hitting garage sales and he pulled one, pulled a really good deal right in Middleburg Heights. There's no cost to that. The old man loves going to these garage sales and I've kind of trained him now. Really, my mother trained him to stop buying junk and just go in and see if they want to sell some real estate. A lot of times they do. It's amazing. I think it's a great lead gen doing deals off of it. Uh, Here's another one. Calling realtors. You know, you'll have these realtors that work certain parts of the city that you might want to invest in. Like whoever the big guys are, like we all know like Tim Ali, right? He's big in uh, Middleburg Heights. I mean, he's the go-to guy. Maybe Tim doesn't buy, you know, he's a listing agent. So it would be nice to start a relationship with a guy like that. For example, I'm very good friends with Tim. He's a great guy. And He's open to stuff like that. If you're a cash buyer, he's walking to these houses all the time. If you see a distressed opportunity, train him to call you. Like, dude, I buy distressed assets. You can have both sides of the commission. Realtors love hearing that. You'll get 7%. They love that. Offer it up. You will get deals that way. Public records. It's free to search that stuff. You can just go right on clevelandmunicipalcourt.org. Search up different things, evictions, housing violations. These are all triggers. That's free. It's work, but it's free. Get that data. Someone that might be in a situation. If they have a housing violation, they probably disgusted. BBD. That's what I call it. BBD. You know what that is? Broke, busted, and disgusted. (laughs) And that's a great seller. And there's a lot of sellers that are BBD'd. Got to catch them. And you will catch them during an eviction. You will catch them during a housing court violation. You will catch them on a lead paint violation. And oh boy, I'm doing an episode on lead paint next. And it's going to be good. Might want to tune into that one. That is a free source. Look them up. Get the case. Look them up. Call them. It's free to call somebody. Cold call, man. We're going to get to that in a minute. That's probably my number one way of getting deals. Wraps. I think I said another episode. We're wrapping a van, our first one right now. 
moving billboard, and not some cheesy Vistaprint 18 by 24 magnet. That's not going to do anything. I'm talking about a nice professional wrap. Like you actually look like you know what you're talking about. We'll see how that converts. I heard they do very well. We're going to find out. I will let you know. I'm only doing one right now. And that's a little bit of money involved in that, but at least it's not repetitive. It's not like you're sending out 5,000 bucks a month in postcards and you got to do it again next month and next month and next month. That's like a one-time thing. And maybe you can even barter for it. I don't know what you do, but maybe you can barter for it. Bandit signs. It's cheap. You can go to a banditsigns.com. They have some really good ones out there. Those guys are on top of their game. They have like the best bandit signs that convert and you, know, you can throw those out there a little bit. Don't go crazy. You know, the cities really don't like that stuff. So don't go nuts. But you can get them around. They'll work. Wholesalers. I love buying from wholesalers. You wholesaler cats, man, you guys work so hard. I got mad respect for you. That's why I never gripe when I'm paying you these huge wholesale fees. I know what I'm paying you cats. You know, you're watching. $10,000 checks I'm ripping to you. $7,000 checks. twelve, fifteen thousand $15,000 checks. But you do a lot of work. You earn your money. I respect for that. You guys kiss 100 frogs to get one prince, so amen to you. I don't have the patience for it. I have guys in here that do it. That's awesome, but it's still great to buy from you. So thank you, and keep sending deals here, and I'll keep writing you checks and making your life easy. Thank you. Social media. That's free. Everybody loves social media. Now, look, I'm not a good social media guy to talk about. You know, I'm kind of at that age where uh, I think I feel like I missed it a little bit. I don't understand it. I can barely send an email to be honest. And I don't know how to do Facebook retargeting and Instagram this and getting likes. And I don't understand it, but I do have someone in Dallas who does it for me and we do Google AdWords. but some of you cats can do it yourself. I got to pay somebody, but some of you cats know how to really do that stuff. It's cheap and let people know you buy houses. So my mentor, Mark Evans, I had him on the show actually a few episodes ago. He goes right on Facebook and he'll like post a picture of like him or uh, flying money in the air, like to grab people's attention. He'll be like, Hey, I got money to spend. I got to spend a million bucks. I want to buy property. Call me. And he gets deal flow like that. He's targeting wholesalers is what he's targeting. And people call him with deals. So I think that is a, I think that's a good way to get deals. MLS relists relists on MLS. I have a search set up right in my MLS that if a property is in contract and it comes back on the market, it emails me. Think about the mindset of that seller. I've been there. I'm in contract for 30 days. We're going to close. And all of a sudden you find out the person can't get financing or whatever. They fall off the face of the earth. And you're like, what? And you're back on the market. You're half pissed. Because it's whatever, it'll be the wrong time of year, a tax bill's coming, you just been paying utilities on a vacant home. You're just done. Like, oh, screw it. I'll take 10% less than I just had it in contract for. I just want this done. I want to be done with this. Those can be really good. I played that game for a long time. My acquisitions manager, Matt, he plays that game. He's good at it. And he's been doing that for 10 years before he even worked for me. He was playing the realist game. It is a good game to play. You can get deals. People are burnt out, man. They're just like, I'm done. Over 100 days on market. There's another one. There's opportunity there. They've already raised their hand. They want to sell, right? They're on MLS. I want to sell my home. And now they're 100 days on market. That's a long time. Like when you're a seller and you get in that mindset, all right, we're selling. And then you list it. And then nothing happens. Like, what the hell? You mentally spend the money. You're like, man, when this closes, dude, I'm going to go get a new car. I'm going to go on vacation. I'm going to pay off my credit card. Whatever it is, they want their money out. It's like locked up equity. That's a crappy place they feel like you're at when your equity is trapped. And they've, you don't even have to do anything. They've already, like I said, they've already said they want to sell. They're for sale. You can make deals like that. It's easier because they want to sell. You can make deals. Very good deals like that. So I've chased the, you know, the 100 days plus market. You can chase it just about in any market, really. I mean, it works. Here's a different one too. You know, I talked about this on one of the podcasts, you know, finding deals, right? Hiding in plain sight. I just had a conversation with a a mentor of mine 
out of Tampa Bay, actually Clearwater Beach. And he was saying, you got to take these houses like nobody wants. Like, what do I say west side of Cleveland? Because that's my buy box. So like west side of Cleveland and add square footage. You know, one of the great secrets out there is Section 8 right now. They're paying really, really good, really good right now. And they pay off bedroom count. So if you can take a three bedroom and you can add square footage, you can increase rent. My, my classic trademark secret weapon is take a three bedroom colonial where you have three bedrooms on the second floor and the bathrooms upstairs. And then the first floor consists of a living room, a dining room and a kitchen. Then you have the basement, but they have the unfinished attics. And for years, that's all I did was attic conversions. I would do a center hallway, bedroom front, bedroom back. I had five bedrooms. I put them on section eight and get stupid money for those things. I still have a bunch of them. I'm killing it on those houses. And no one even see it. It was in plain sight. It's a deal. I have a lot of those. I love it. But so you can do that, but you can also add square footage or even through additions. It might make sense to throw a little addition. I just have one of my houses in Parma and we have like a 20 by 20 addition off the back of the house. I didn't do it. Someone else did. I was just standing in the house the other day going, damn, this is awesome. I'm going to get more rent because of this room. And I was telling my team, we have to look to do this on houses that we get. You know those little box ranches you get in the 130th and Bel Air neighborhood? You Cleveland cats know what I'm talking about. The little 696 square foot box ranch slab. Those are so easy to put an addition on and cut in two or three more bedrooms. You can literally make them four and five bedroom ranches. Section eight will pay you crazy for something like that. And you can buy those houses over there for, I don't want to say for nothing because they used to be for nothing. Now they're a little more expensive, but they're still nothing. 50, 60 grand you can buy them for. We're buying them for 20. <laughs> Boy, those days were good, huh? Hell, you could buy them for less than that. Teens. I have a lot of those I bought in the teens. But um, you got to add. You know, you got to add square footage. You increase value. That's what we do, right? You're a real estate investor. A real estate investor adds value. If you're not adding value, I don't know. Probably not really a real estate investor. That's what we want to do. All right, so here, I'll give you what is my number one source. Let's gonna give it up. It's cold calling. Calling, calling, calling. Now, you can do it a couple ways. You can get a VA and have them call, and it's cheap. Or you can get someone here in the U.S. to cold call for you. Or they have firms out there that do it for you. Batch Leads just open up a cold calling program, and it works. It works well. You have a nice conversation. You'll get deals. You're just investing your time. I mean... Guys, everybody wants to be the guy driving the Bentley or rolling around like he's doing nothing all day, but it, it takes a while to get there. You've got to do your time. You can't just go spend five, 10 grand a month on marketing. It's not all just going to come. You have to really work your ass off with anything, but especially in this business. So cheap marketing. I hope uh, some of this sticks to some of you cats and you do it. And I'll say it again, if you got any deals you get from this and don't have the money to take them down, meaning close them, call me, sell them to me. I'll buy it. Maybe if we develop a relationship, I'll joint venture with you. Maybe I'll lend it to you. I don't know. It's going to take a little bit to work into that stuff, but let's open a relationship. If you have these deals, I mean, obviously, if you're calling me about not having money, you're not getting the money to take them down. So wholesale them to me, get them in contract, bring me the damn contract and I'll buy it. I will pay you handsomely because I know it sucks. Cold calling, all this stuff is a grind, baby. It's a grind, but that's okay. What isn't a grind? Every business is full of headaches. Which pill do you want to take today? I'll take the real estate pill. I'm cool. <laughs> it's the best pill, I think. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for the request. Hope you enjoy this episode. Have a wonderful day. This is the podcastfactory.com.